All right. Hi, everyone. It's me. We're going to be talking today with the lovely Lauren of Legit Oils. I'm so excited to connect you guys with Lauren. Um, Lauren and I met by way of, I'd say like a combo between social media and babes in business. Would you say so? Yeah, definitely. Because it's a combo where it's like, I like what you're doing. Uh, I like what you're doing. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. There's you in person. Remember when we <laughs> met in person? Yeah. <laughs> So let me tell you guys, you know, formally a little bit about Lauren and what we're going to be talking about today. So you guys can really jump into meeting Lauren in person yourself. <laughs> so Lauren of Legit Oils empowers individuals with the knowledge needed to use essential oils with confidence. I know for me, I'm kind of like, lavender, is that a pick me up or put me down? Like, what is that? Uh, so she is passionate about sharing these precious gifts from the earth with the intention that we should all be in charge of our own health and healing journey. And so, you know, having Lauren on, we're inviting you guys to join her in this movement to awaken your body and your mind with the powerful healing properties of essential oils. Um, I don't know about you guys, if you've used them before, um, or like me, where it's like you have them, but you're not really not sure when to use them. Um, but the, the truth is that with essential oils, it's like one drop, one person, one family, one community at a time. And Lauren's going to kind of guide us through in today's topic, where we are going to be talking about essential oil empowerment and how to thrive using natural solutions in our world. So Lauren, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for that intro. <laughs> I know. I like to give the like formal intro because I'm like, all right, when I'm listening, I want to know like who's this person, why they're on, what they're going to talk about. Um, but Lauren, there's more to you than meets the eye. You're not just like adorable um, and great at essential oils. You're also a mama and you're a business owner. So tell us a little bit about you. Like what's behind the kimono? Yeah. So hey, everyone. Um, I'm Lauren Gitlin, as Bailey mentioned, and I have two kids. They are six and a half and three. They are my why. I know a lot of us, right, when we go out on our own, you need to find something that's going to drive you. So it was really, for me, it was my kids and my health. Um, so I got started using essential oils about four years ago now. And just seeing what they were doing for me and my family has really given me the drive to share them with primarily women. I speak with a lot of women about essential oils because I think it is such a, a feeling of, it's like an aha moment when everything clicks and you can start using something like essential oils as a natural solution. So um, I also really like to bake and cook. Um, that's just some fun little things about me. So yeah, DIY. I didn't even know I really like DIY things until I started using essential oils and I was like, oh, I got adventurous and I even made my own deodorant. So uh, yeah, gotten kind of crazy, but it's, it's really fun. Well, I love that, you know, there are so many different ways that we can use, you know, essential oils or use things that are in our natural environment as solutions. And frankly, like I love, I, you know, when we asked you like, okay, Lauren, we want to have you, we want to talk, and what are you going to talk about? And when you said essential oil empowerment, I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Because sure, anybody can listen to the lesson, but when you feel empowered with how to use things, right? When you know how to use, you know, our gifts from earth and really like feel confident about being a healer within your own home, I think that is where our power position, like not only does it reside, but it also, I don't know, my opinion allows us to have fun and play into something that evokes the senses. Yeah. And it's aromatherapy is so powerful. Um, if all of you can think of, I like to bring up peppermint. So just imagine, kind of close your eyes and remember what it smells like, what it feels like when you smell that. Everybody's going to have a different memory. So many people tell me it reminds them of the holidays, peppermint patties, or, you know, candy canes. Some other people, it's like a nice, cool, refreshing mist they kind of feel come over them. So you do have a physical reaction within your body um, when your brain is triggered by a scent. So it's, there's real science behind all of this, which is, you know, if you're into that kind of thing, you can go down a rabbit hole learning all of that, but you don't need to know that information. You just need to know that, um, you have your own experience with the oils and whatever works for you. It's kind of what you can do going forward. So, cool. Yeah. 
So explain to us a little bit more about how uh, aromatherapy works. Like, explain to us about like essential oil empowerment and what exactly does that mean? Tell us all the things, Lauren. <laughs> sure. Okay, all the things. Uh, so essential oils, I'll just start quick with the definition. Everybody's heard of essential oils by now. You see them in stores everywhere. Um, they are derived right from plants. So in this little bottle, this is a little essential oil bottle. They also come in different sizes, um, but this is pure essential oil that's coming straight from a plant, straight from the bark, root, flowers, stems, you name it, right? Um, and what it does when it interacts with our body is it's a natural compound. So our body will accept it and let it help us to heal, um, feel happy, help us get better sleep, de-stress, help with indigestion, you name it. All of the things essential oils can help us with in their own way. So they're very powerful in that you can use them aromatically, like we were talking about with that aromatherapy. If you've ever um, seen a diffuser or used a diffuser before, it's really just water, literally, and oils. I have one back here. It's a little far away, but you get the idea. Um, it's plugged in, so I don't want to spill it right now, but that is going to allow the essential oil to get dispersed into the air. And what I think is really cool about that is that it's not just only going to benefit you as a user, but everyone who's in that room, office, car, you can diffuse anywhere that you can plug something in. They even have little USB chargers. So for any of you ladies who have a commute that you're looking to maybe amplify your environment in your car, you need that that push in the morning, that motivation. You can get a little peppermint in the car diffuser and you're good to go. Um, you can also diffuse at your desk. I was previously in corporate America. So high stress, um, lots of pressure. So I had a little diffuser at my desk and people would walk by and be like, what is that? Um, mm -hmm. And it, you know, everybody wanted some because it was helping them to feel calm, smile and happy. Um, so it's really powerful aromatically. And then the next way is topically. So when you think about all of these products, a lot of them that you see right off the shelves are going to say now kind of scented with essential oils. Um, you do have to be mindful, you know, do your due diligence on what products you're using. Again, that's a whole nother topic, but what you're putting on your skin, getting into your body, you know, you want to make sure you have the good pure stuff. But when you do, what you're able to do in, um, you can add your own essential oils to your lotion and have a different experience day to day. So for example, let's say that you're ready to go. You just want to have a good day. Wild orange is an example of an oil that I would use in my lotion. Any kind of citrus is really uplifting and it's going to kind of give you that that happiness, right? Mm -hmm. So just a drop or two in some lotion and just literally put it all over your body where you normally put lotion after the shower. Alternatively, if you have something more um, targeted that you're looking for support with, let's say you have a headache, because all of us are staring at computers or our phone or iPads all the time. So head tension, you kind of just need to kind of relax your jaw, your neck, shoulders, that kind of thing, you would use something like, um, there's a blend by doTERRA called Deep Blue. That is a muscle relief um, blend. Or you can use something like peppermint to kind of open up all of those pathways where your muscles are a little bit too tense and then you can relax them. Mm -hmm. um, so peppermint, frankincense, and lavender is my go-to for any kind of headaches. So this is taking, again, that power back into your own hands. Instead of turning to, you know, maybe you're like, all right, I'm getting a headache. I got to take Advil right away, you know, because you know yourself. Maybe monthly around that time of the month, you get cramps and a headache. At least personally, that was my thing every month. And I was just constantly, you know, for a week at a time, like Advil all the time. And then I started thinking, I don't want to do this all the time. So it's being empowered to try something natural for that. And then the third way you can use essential oils is internally. Um, and I'm speaking uh, about doTERRA essential oils internally. Again, going back to that there is a difference. These are approved to be used internally. 
I'm not giving medical advice, always check with your doctor, but when you use essential oils internally, it's going to help to give you um, detoxing, depending on the oil. So lemon is something really great to put in a smoothie to help kind of get everything moving and out. And we all know that you're not going to be your best self if you're not getting everything out of your body and, you know, moving your body, right? Um, so essential oils will help you in that way too. So those three ways are how you can use them. And I always tell people that, you know, you just take it one step at a time. I will be giving all of you guys a, a little cheat sheet later on. So don't worry about, you know, writing down all the oils I'm talking about as I'm going through this. You'll get all that information later and you can take it at your own pace. Do you find that there are certain oils that are like almost medicinal, like uh, mm -hmm. lavender for relaxation? Do you find yeah. that, that that's true? And like, what would you say are like some of the biggest or most popular ones um, or even your personal favorites? Yeah, um, that's a good question. I actually was just speaking to one of my friends this morning who just started using oils and she was like, I can't even stay awake at night to watch my shows because I have my lavender going and my diffuser next to my bed and I'm sleeping amazing. Um, so that is something that um, I actually just want to take a second and use this question as a way for all of you to take this and think about for yourself three different things that you want more support with whether that's physically or mentally. So you can kind of take a second as I'm talking and just jot down these three things that you're looking for more support with in a more natural way. And as I'm talking, you can take some of these ideas and put them into those three categories you're thinking of. Um, because for me personally, stress was something that I knew I needed to manage. So I do have a favorite oil for that on a a level that I have physically felt it calm my body down. I was just in like a heightened state one time, writing an email, you know how you get that kind of knee-jerk reaction sometimes and you need to take it back. Um, this oil is called Balance. It's a grounding blend. Um, mm -hmm. So there are some blends. This is also another thing that I want to explain. There are single oils. So like I talked about before, wild orange, clearly, but an orange it's the comes from the rind of the orange but something like balance you're like well what's in that um all of the oils that are in the blends are right on the label and you'll see in something like balance this is the grounding blend so it has a lot of tree oils it's a very earthy fresh scent it's going to bring you back to the present moment and really help you to kind of just ground in in that state to not be in that heightened elevated you know stressful state. So I've had personal experiences with this. Balance is one of my favorites. Another would be for sleep. Um, lavender works for many people, but it can have the opposite effect on some. So if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, lavender just doesn't do it for me. You're not alone. Um, but that's where I would say to try some other oils like cedarwood or something like vetiver. Vetiver is actually a root. So you think of the oil where it comes from and that's kind of what it kind of helps you with. So again, that grounding and really relaxation at night. Um, I would say another thing for me is focus. We have, I mean, my computer's over there. It's off right now, so it's not uh, bothering me. I'm on my phone, so I can't be checking texts. So this is great. Mm -hmm. But that I think even with ourselves and our children, and especially trying to run our businesses and get ourselves off the ground, staying focused is something that I know um, I was looking towards essential oils to help me with. So there is a blend. It's called Intune. It's a focus blend. This, again, is a blend of different oils. It's going to have some patchouli, frankincense, ylang ylang. It smells amazing. And it really helps you to get in that zone. So when I'm talking about using an essential oil or a roller blend, so this is a roller. just has that little roller guy on it. You can just roll it right on yourself. Um, if you're using this for something, let's say, focus, for example, we'll take this in tune. I would roll it right on my wrist, rub my hands together. You can rub a little bit if you have a long sleeve shirt on, or I have some lava bead jewelry on right now, any kind of porous stones. So if you have any wood beads, I have those on here too. I kind of roll the beads right on the oil and then it'll last longer. Hmm. And then you want to put it where you can smell it when it's something like 
you're trying to focus or you're trying to de-stress. So I rub it on my wrist. A lot of times I'll kind of then rub it right on my shirt. I have a high shirt, back of the ears, back of the neck. You can apply essential oils on your pulse points. That's where it's going to get absorbed quickly into your skin, um, you know, where your blood is flowing through your body. So just always remember that your pulse points when in doubt, you can apply the oils there. And the roller blends are also diluted. So what that means is that they're mixed with fractionated coconut oil. So they're going to dive deeper into your skin and really help you get that medicinal type benefit. Um, another great blend for focus or energy, a lot of times in the morning or at that like two or three o'clock slump, peppermint and wild orange are really good for that. So those two together, again, you could throw them in your diffuser or you can make a little roller blend for yourself um, and have that ready to go so that you can use it as needed. So those are a few examples that I think a lot of us can relate to stress, sleep, kind of getting yourself moving. That's where I've seen oils come into play a lot. So I'm curious, like you said that with um, like a blend that is diluted with a fraction of the coconut oil, how does that get in deeper when it's diluted versus like doing the like the full one? Yeah. So essential oils are very volatile. They're compounds. Um, they're not meant to kind of absorb into the skin on their own. Oh. So that's why, yeah, you need to kind of marry them with a fatty type vegetable oil. I always use fractionated coconut oil because it's not, even though it's coconut oil, it doesn't smell like the coconut oil that you cook with. Sure. Um, in a pinch, you can even just grab any kind of like hard coconut oil, warm it in your hands and use that or even lotion. It's all preference but you want to use the oils with the um, some kind of vegetable oil to absorb into your skin. While we're talking about carriers, I'll also mention on your face, that's a nice place to apply essential oils. It can really give you that invigoration in the morning, something like frankincense. It also helps with wrinkles and age spots. So it's a win-win and you get that aromatherapy as you're applying it to your skin. So something like that, you could put right in your moisturizer or in some argan oil or jojoba oil, you know, on your face. It's uh, interesting. I was having a conversation with someone and we're talking about uh, sensuality, right? Mm -hmm. and sexuality and sexuality, like they're friends, but they're not the same thing. And I love the concept of like using the essential oils to evoke our sensuality, like our five senses. Mm -hmm. um, because I think so often we have a tendency, I know I'm very guilty of it, to be like, go, 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 and busy, busy, busy. But like when you are actively like taking care of yourself in that way, you know, smelling, evoking, reminding yourself, I think that like we're yeah. using our senses. So I said it and you smiled. So what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I actually, I think of them as little triggers throughout the day too. Um, so you can when you start using essential oils, you want to leave them where you know you're going to see them so that you have that reminder, like, you know what? I am going really hard today. Let me just take a minute, breathe. You know, it all comes back to the breath and closing our eyes and just taking a minute for ourselves, whether that's literally just 30 seconds or if you want to do like a five minute meditation to reconnect. But those different scents, you're going to have different reactions to. So that's also nice. If there's something, if you have a meditation practice and you start using frankincense, then when you smell that frankincense, you're going to just immediately start getting back into that meditative state a lot quicker. So it's really cool to think about how the different aromas can help you do that. Um, and I love, like you were talking about rubbing the oils on, um, you know, you physically are massaging yourself and it's great. Another place that you can put essential oils, especially for women, is your inner ankles. You have the direct um, connection there to your uterus. So I like to use something like clary sage. That is an oil that is, um, it's the oil of clarity and vision as well. So maybe for another uh, vision boarding <laughs> exercise, ladies, keep that in mind, clary sage. It's actually on an emotional level helpful to kind of get you into that state and then physically it 
connects right to our uterus. So I always like to mention that when I'm speaking to women, because I feel like that's a really empowering blend too. Oh, that's really interesting. And yeah. I mean, they use sage to like light and clear rooms, right? Create that clarity. So yeah. probably something tucked in there. Mm -hmm. And I also think you're, you're right that there are different uses for different times. And as you're saying it, I have a tendency to keep all of my essential oils in one bag so that I have the bag, but the bag is like tucked up on the shelf and I'm not using them as much as I, I want to, but then on my desk, which is like over there, I'm pointing over there, mm -hmm. my desk, I have this like, oh, it's, it's this like really cool stone jar that I got in my, I don't know, Kenya years ago. And I have like three different essential oils in there that I do have doubles of um, in my bag, but I love what you're saying about like leaving them where you know that you're gonna need them. I don't have them in the car, and I'm telling you, there's plenty of times when I probably need them. Like, well, like either pick me up or like chill me out. <laughs> yeah. Car, so I love that. Yeah, and even for diffusing purposes, you're gonna start out with one diffuser. So if you don't have one yet, and you get one. You know, I've, I've talked to plenty of people who are like, I carry my diffuser around my house because you want to diffuse in your bedroom when you're going to sleep. But then maybe if you work from home, you want to have it in your home office. So again, leaving the oils even by the diffuser so that you're, you're triggered to put them right in that diffuser too is always helpful. Right. And the diffuser is an easy way to have the experience and like keep it going. I mean, I know I, I got my diffuser, I think like at home goods or something. So they, they're not astronomically priced. You can get more than one if you want it. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I always mention, I stress that the, the quality of the essential oils is so much more important than the diffuser. I have plenty of diffusers from Amazon. So stock up, load them up, just be conscious of what oils you're using and then you'll be totally good. Um, Especially for like skin application. I know like with yeah. my daughter, when she has like an upper respiratory thing, mm -hmm. I will do a little um, eucalyptus for yeah. her. And I'll do like the, uh, and again, Lauren, I might be completely wrong. So please tell me if I'm screwing up my kid, but <laughs> I'll put it on the bottom of her feet and I'll put it like either on her chest or on her pajamas right here. So like kind of opening her up. I just think of like, like the old school Vicks Vapor Rub and like, yeah. This feels like a better product, like a better thing to use. Absolutely. So thank you for bringing up the bottoms of the feet because um, that is a pathway to our body. You can apply all of the oils there. So when in doubt, um, if you're feeling overwhelmed and you don't know where to apply the oil, it's not something so clear cut as, you know, respiratory, bottoms of the feet are always a great choice too. And yes, you're right with pajamas, putting it right here, diluting it for the kids especially, but yeah, it's always yeah. good. Um, I put it in her, um, in her humidifier too. I don't know if that's a good thing or not a good thing, or I should just be using a diffuser, but. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to be careful of, um, when you put oils in a humidifier, the grade of plastic may not be the strongest grade and the oils can break down that plastic over time because they weren't made with the intention of being used with oils. I know that they do sell some humidifiers that say you can use oils with them. So, you know, just always look at what you have and you might be okay, but yeah. Um, and diffusers don't heat oils. That's another question I get, you know, oh, can I put my essential oils in like my oil warmer? You don't want to heat essential oils because it's going to kind of negate all of the benefits that you would get. So be pure essential oils you want to diffuse or use in a roller blend. Um, I do have some two recipes I wanted to share and I will absolutely pop these in the Facebook group as well. But when we were talking about sensuality and really kind of connecting with your inner self and femininity, I have a superwoman blend mm -hmm. that I got from one of the, um, doctors that I follow and I read her book. It's an entire book on the essential oil hormone solution, which as women, I think so many of our things, we don't even realize it day to day. We're trying to get things done in our business and our hormones could just be kind of wreaking havoc on us. So oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. don't even know <laughs> that they're in control, but we're not aware of it. So this blend, it's a bunch of different oils. So I'm going to mention to you what they are and kind of why they're in there. So it's that clary sage that I mentioned lavender, cedarwood, geranium, and ylang-ylang. 
mm. all very floral. And then you get the cedar wood in there for the grounding, but it's really amazing for helping with motivation and inspiration too. So I feel like this is like a absolute best blend for women. Um, and it's going to just be one of those things that you can kind of roll. Here's my little superwoman blend. So I made it. So when you make your own little oils, you can make fun labels too, but you, this is something you can roll onto your wrist. So let's say you're kind of stuck in a rut. You don't know what's going on. You're not getting clients or you're not able to move forward. You're in a creative block or something, right? So you can look towards an essential oil. And I like this blend because it's going to help with that motivation, inspiration mentally, but physically, it's also helping you kind of get those hormones balanced too yeah. and supporting you there. So kind of put it on your wrist and take a little superwoman pose and get yourself in that mindset. So I wanted to share that with you guys oh, I before I forgot. It. Yeah. Well, and I think that it's important that we do it just for us, you know, mm -hmm. Activate that sensuality. Like yeah. we came here to live like to live our life and to live the brightest life possible. Like we're not here to play small. So I love that. I love that. Yeah. And again, with empowering yourself with essential oils, you're focusing on you. It's not selfish. And like I talk about, and a lot of people, we're all talking about self-care, but self-care is really health care. So are you taking care of yourself? How's your mental health? How's your physical health? Um, and using essential oils is a more natural way to kind of help all of that combined. It's just been really powerful. So that's my message for all of you. Um, there's another blend that I have made. This one I made, it has three different oils in it. It's called Self Love. Um, it has geranium, which is the oil of love and trust. It has patchouli, which everyone has kind of their own experience with that scent. Um, you either love it or you hate it, but when it's in this blend, it helps you to be fully present, which I think is awesome. Yeah. especially in all of our craziness now. And then balance, that oil I talked about before, the oil for grounding and helps you to realize your deepest dreams and desires. So it's all very magical. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And sometimes we need a little magic. Yeah. So many of my clients, even myself, that like we said, we're just too busy for self-care, too busy to, to, to relax. Like I'll yeah. meditate when I have time, but this is something that's just so small um, but has a bigger effect. And I think that that's a, a lot of fun. You need to give yourself that self-love or you're not going to be able to give it to anyone else. Right. And yeah, just incorporating things as um, you can into your daily routine. So if it is that five minutes in the morning that you're going to just put your superwoman blend on, or if you have that peppermint you're going to grab in the afternoon, it's just small things in your daily routine. And then it's going to become second nature. Um, Another thing too, I want to mention quick, you can also make a, like a room spray. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody that maybe you're not at a place that you can plug in a diffuser, I don't know, um, or you just want to refresh different rooms throughout the house, you can just make a spray for yourself. So throw mm -hmm. some oils in there with some distilled water, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, and then you just shake it up and spray. So mm -hmm. it can yeah, you're going to instantly kind of change the mood and the vibe and, and shift all of your energy. Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Oh, Lauren, I love it. I feel like we could talk all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So for more on you, where do we find you? Where are you hanging out? Yeah, I'm on Facebook and Instagram under Legit Oils. Um, so it's L-E-G-I-T and then the word oils. Um, Instagram, I'm on there every Wednesday doing a uh, legit wellness Wednesday live video. And I have all those videos on my IGTV. So I'm really passionate about sharing the education so that it's not intimidating. So I'd love to help all of you on your journey with oils. Awesome. 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 So we'll have to check you out on the IGTV, and uh, especially on the Wednesdays for the wellness Wednesday. And I can't thank you enough for being on with us. I'm already like cooking up ideas for blends in my mind. So I yes. love it. And then we'll hang out with you in the Facebook group. Great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Bye.